All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a 12 by 16 layout for your DTF transfer using Canva. Now, I've already updated, upgraded my account to Canva Pro, which is uh, needed to save uh, PNG with the transparent background. So the first thing you'll do is go up here to the top right where it says create a design, and you'll click that. You'll go down here to custom size, and then you'll put a width of 12 and a height of 16. And you'll change that to inches. So let's go back here, let's do 12 and 16. And then you'll click this create new design button. So this gives you your 12 by 16 canvas. Uh, now I'm gonna go over here to uploads. All right, so here you can upload your artwork so I'm gonna click on the uh, upload media button right here to grab the images that I wanna upload, right? And I'm gonna grab all three of these images here and click open. All right, so now that the images, some of the images have uploaded, you can basically drag and drop them right onto the, uh, onto the canvas. All right, so what I did was I click, click and hold and then drag on over. You can drag over as many as you want. All right, I'm gonna delete this image here. Okay, so now you just have to size your image. So what we recommend, um, if, it's, if the design is for, is going on um, an infant's clothing, then it should be five inches on the longest side. If it's going on a toddler's clothing, the image should be seven inches on the longest side. If it's going on a youth shirt, you're looking at eight and a half inches on the longest side. An adult shirt, which is small through extra large, that's gonna be 10 inches. And an adult plus, which is larger, the 2XL or larger, that's 12 inches. So we wanna size the image according to the shirt that we're going to be putting this DTF transfer on. So to do that, you wanna make sure the image is selected. All right, now that the image is selected, you're gonna grab one of the anchors. So your anchors are at all four corners of the image. So this box around the image is called the bounding box, and at each corner of the bounding box is your anchor. So you're gonna click and hold your anchor, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull up the, uh, the, the width and height of the image. So you wanna adjust the longest side until it reaches the size that you want. Now this particular image, the height is, um, the height is greater than, is longer than the width. So we're going to uh, make sure the height can fit on an, on an adult shirt. So we're gonna make that 10 inches. Okay, so now that's set at 10, and we're gonna position it up here. Now that still leaves you with room on your, on your canvas for other images. Now, it won't, it doesn't leave room for another one of these unless perhaps you, let's see, unless we turn it. So let's see, let's see how much space we get if we turn the image. Okay, so from here, I'm just gonna copy this down. And you'll see even, even when we turn it, we still don't have enough space on this transfer for two of these images. However, say we also wanted a, um, a toddler shirt using the same image. Once again, we've already copied the image down. So I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna grab the uh, anchor again, one of the anchors, and I'm gonna bring it, I'm gonna bring the height down to seven inches. And we'll see if it can fit on this transfer. All right, so that's now seven inches, and we'll move this down here. And as you can see, now I've set up my gang sheet to have two images printed on here. Now I'm gonna add one more image, and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna add the Atlanta Vinyl logo. We'll flip that around, and we'll size it down. 
just a random size, just so it fits. So this is how you maximize your gang sheet. You can fit as many images on a gang sheet as you can, and that will be printed um, on, your, on your DTF transfer. So last but not least, you wanna download your image. So we're gonna go up here, top right to download, we'll click download. Now where it says size, just max it out. Max out the size, make it as big as possible. And then we're gonna click on transparent background, okay? Do not click on compress file. That's gonna give you a lower quality image. That's definitely not what you want. Um, I'm just gonna go back up here real quick where you see a file type. It says PNG, that's what you need for a DTF transfer. It has to be a PNG file with a transparent background. So after you've done all this, just click download. And it's going to convert your file to a PNG with a transparent background and download it onto your computer. Okay, so let's look at the resulting file. All right, so this is what the result looks like. You see Atlanta Vinyl, the logo, it already had a white background, so that white background appears here. However, the PNG file that we, uh, the design file that we used, it had a transparent background. So anywhere where you see that dark gray, that represents a transparent background. So this is the file that you'll submit to Atlanta Vinyl for your custom DTF transfer. So from here you'll go to Atlanta Vinyl Store, click on DTF Transfers, then you'll click on Custom DTF Transfers, and you can choose the 12 by 16 gang sheet option, and then we'll choose the PNG that we just made, and we'll drag that into here, and wait for it to upload, and then we'll click Add. and then you just add it to your cart. And that's it. Um, just go to checkout at this point and uh, pay for it. And your file will be sent directly to the printer because it is perfectly set up as a 12 by 16 gang print. All right, if you have any other questions, please put them in the comments below or you can email us at contacts at atlantavinylstore.com.